This whole tribe has been unreal. That is super scary. Whoa! It's so good. <laughs> Good morning everyone. We are back on the road today. We are heading to Jasper. It is a four to five hour drive, but it's one of the most beautiful highways ever. So we're super excited. It is a little bit more gloomy today, so we're not going to be making as many stops, but I believe we're going to be going to Bow Lake, um, a few waterfalls and the Glacier Park. But anyways, we're going to grab breakfast right now. We're just doing a and W drive through and we're going to head on the road. So I'll see you guys in a bit. We had to stop on the highway because this view is so beautiful. And I heard it's like this the whole drive, but this is definitely one of the most beautiful highways ever. Look at that view. Wow, this highway. We are now at Bow Lake. It is so pretty. Not a lot of people are here. It's so nice. We're so lucky. It was pouring the whole way and now it's beautiful. We're gonna head to the next stop now, which I believe is gonna be the glacier, but we're gonna keep stopping along the way on the highway because it's so, so breathtaking. I've been snacking on Mary's popcorn the whole way. We got these at Banff downtown. We got the Banff mix, which is basically maple syrup and white cheddar. And it's so addicting. Highly recommend if you guys could be going on a road trip to pick a small bag up. Made it to Columbia Icefield. Also wearing my Rams gear today because Rams is playing, so let's go Rams. But we are doing a quick stop here. We're not actually going to go on the ice walk and the ice field just because it didn't really fit with our schedule. But you can actually see it. So a lot of people I saw online recommended that you don't have to do it if you don't have time. If you drive by, you can even drive up and see it really close up too on your own. We are actually grabbing Starbucks because this is the tallest Starbucks ever in terms of elevation. So. Obviously, I'm gonna get my go-to sick tea. Cheers! We are now at Athabasca's Falls. This is the last stop for the day before we head to Jasper. We're only 30 minutes away from Jasper, so we're pretty close. This whole drive has been unreal. No wonder people consider the Icefield Parkway as one of the most beautiful highways out there. It is breathtaking. I highly recommend checking it out especially i would say schedule around like five to seven hours because there are so many stops throughout the way it's beautiful we're now in jasper we're now in kimchi house to grab dinner it's a korean restaurant that you guys actually recommended to me on instagram i'm craving hot soup and rice so i'm super excited i'll show you guys when the food comes we are starving we're gonna enjoy dinner right now i haven't had rice in a long time so i'm super excited can't wait to dig in but i'll talk to you guys in a bit we are stuffed from dinner we're gonna be walking around the town now it's super cute but i'm gonna show you guys the view of here okay it's insanely beautiful once again look at the mountains it's so nice i feel like the weather always looks so beautiful after the rain too it's like super super refreshing but this town is really small but super super cute tomorrow's gonna be a full day in jasper we're going on some hikes doing some trails so i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning everyone so my parents went for a walk this morning and they went to grab us some breakfast at this super cute cafe called beer paul's cafe it's one of the really really popular spots here in jasper and they picked up some food so i want to show you guys what they got it looks so yummy so the first thing they got was this which is like this giant jalapeno pretzel but the two things that they're most famous for, which I'm surprised we got because apparently we have to go super early in the morning because they're always sold out. So the first thing is obviously the beer paws. They got all that layer. It smells really good. It has like cinnamon on the inside. And the second thing, what they're most famous for, which looks really, really yummy too, is their sticky cinnamon bun. And it looks like this. Let me try this one first. not too sweet the bread is really really soft like i don't like cinnamon buns that are too like cakey like i like it when it's more like a bread i'm gonna try this thing that i'm most excited for there's this huge pretzel literally this has my face mm. 
I'm such a savory person. It's really garlicky. Really, really yummy. Super soft bread. I highly recommend checking out. I think I like this sticky bread the most, as well as the pretzel bun. But anyways, we're going to enjoy breakfast right now because we have a huge hiking day, so I'll see you guys in a bit. We are now at our first stop, which is Mullane Canyon, and we're at the second bridge. And look how tall it is. It is kind of scary, not going to lie. Like, that is super scary. <laughs> this is the second bridge, and the depth is 51 meters, which is really, really high. We're now at the third bridge. We're heading towards the fifth bridge. We're now 10 meter depth. Still pretty high up though. Look at that. We are now at the fourth bridge. 15 meters. Super pretty. So far we've only been going downhill. So not looking forward to the hike up. We're getting to the fifth bridge. So we're almost there. One more bridge to go. to the fifth bridge finally it is so nice here i'm still nervous about hiking up not gonna lie now all the way at the bottom we were all the way up there so we're gonna have to hike all the way back later but super super pretty look how clear the water is on our way back all uphill wow <laughs> <laughs> we hiked up another way on the way back and this is such a nice viewpoint we're gonna take a quick water break again, but this is beautiful. We are now at stop number two, which is Medicine Lake. It is beautiful. We're gonna have lunch here. For lunch, I'm having rice with um, eggs, spinach, and tuna. And my mom is having the cinnamon bun from earlier. Jasper is a lot quieter compared to Banff. Like there's not as many people here, which is super nice. You basically get like the whole lake to yourself most of the time. Mm. So it's a really good spot to have like lunch. I would say that if you're really into hikings and trails, you can definitely schedule more time in Jasper versus Banff. If you like like the nature scene and everything. Okay, ready? Whoa! Oh, oh, Whoa! I don't know how to do it, so I'm just gonna record because it is hard. Mine just goes straight in the water. We are now in Mullane Lake, which is the most beautiful lake here in Jasper. Super peaceful. We are doing a quick trail here. We're gonna walk around to the viewpoint. It's not too far, but there's tons of trails here if you really like walking around. I think there's like five different trails. Hopefully we can see a moose. I heard people see mooses here. We made it to the viewpoint. Super pretty. We are now walking on the bridge to go to the Pyramid Island. So nice. This is our last stop before we head over to dinner. We are now at Jasper Brewery Company grabbing some beers. Super well deserved after like a whole day of hiking and walking. We are grabbing dinner right now. I'll show you guys when the food comes. I'm super excited. Apparently they have like the best nachos here. So can't wait to dig in. Cheers! So this is the nachos. It looks so good. This is their jalapeno blue cheese. And over here, we got some boar tacos and that looks crazy yummy too. Okay, I'm gonna try the nachos now. This looks insanely good. Especially this cheese here. The jalapeno blue cheese. Forget the lakes. Come here instead. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think this is one of my favorite meals that we've had so far on the trip. Like, I think this is actually super yummy that you should go try out with some beers. But we're gonna eat. I'll show you guys when the main course comes. We also bought the pesto pasta. This is what I'm super excited about. I think this is like an elk meatloaf. And then over here, we got like the Wagyu meatball, which looks super, super yummy. So I'm gonna try the elk meatloaf right now. 
Can I have like a barbecue tomato -y sauce on it? It's not too tough. I was imagining it to be like super, super like hard and tough. Let me try like the meatloaf pasta. So, YQ meatloaf. Why you like always hits a spot no matter what. I think I like the, I like all of them. The nacho is for sure my favorite though. So you guys ever come try it out here? Get the nachos, get the jalapeno cheese sauce. You will not be disappointed. Everything else is super yummy too. I think I'm gonna get another beer, but we're gonna enjoy dinner right now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when we head to Columbia Ice Fields. Good morning, everyone. We are on our way back to Lake Louise today. So we'll be driving back on the highway again. We are stopping at Patricia Street Deli to grab some sandwiches to eat on the way there. We're gonna be stopping at the Columbia Ice Field again because we wanna try to hike the whole way up just so we can see a little bit more. The weather is looking beautiful, so we are super excited. I'm gonna order a breakfast right now and I'll see you guys in a bit. This is our brunch view for the day. So pretty. So cold though. So we got four different sandwiches. This one is my dad's, which is roast beef. Look at that sandwich. That looks insanely delicious. They say that they make everything in house. So their cranberry sauce, their hummus. This is mine. I got the roasted chicken. I also got hummus in mine, but this looks super, super yummy. I love eating sandwiches in the morning. So I want to try the chicken one first. I'm just gonna take a bite of my dad's. He's not here right now, so he's not gonna notice, but his looks really good. <laughs> the roast beef, the smoked beef. Okay, chicken. Oh my God, the cranberry is so good. Wow. It like really works with the chicken. We got their pickled beets and pickled onions. And it's super good. They make it in-house too. It adds like a nice sweetness and a little bit of tartness to the sandwich. Try my dad's smoked beef now. I feel like I should have gotten the smoked beef. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to enjoy lunch right now before we head to our first stop, Columbia Icefield. I'll see you guys in a bit. We are now going up the trail to go see the ice field. Super cold. We are here! Ah, the wind is so strong. The wind is so crazy. If you were to take the um, bus, I think they bring you up there. But the hike wasn't really bad at all. Like, I think it took like 10 minutes, right? Yeah. It's very, very cold. It's very, very cold, really windy. We're coming here in like, I would say like fall and it's still pretty cold. So I can't imagine what it'll be like in the winter. We lost our parents. We are back at Lake Louise and Lake Louise is honestly definitely the most beautiful lake by far. But we are going on a trail walk. We're gonna be doing a one hour, I think two hour trail walk. Um, our room isn't ready yet. So we decided to push our canoe till tomorrow instead. We are going to grab dinner today at the lounge and then tomorrow we are grabbing dinner at Fairview and then we're doing canoe tomorrow instead since our checkout isn't until 4 p.m. This is our room. We have a two queen bedroom, but look at this view. That is insane. You can wake up to this every morning. So beautiful. We're staying in Lake Louise for two nights. We're gonna get ready for dinner now. We might go for a walk because we do have some time left. Bye. We're now heading towards dinner, but I wanna quickly show you guys the view of Lake Louise at night. It is beautiful. It's so peaceful here at night. It's like really empty, not too many people are here. You basically get like the whole lake to yourself. I highly recommend staying at the Fairmont Lake Louise just based on this view alone. The rooms, not gonna lie, they're really nice and really clean, but that's definitely not the reason. It's this lake, this view, getting this on your own at night with not a lot of tourists here, so peaceful. I'm literally in the middle of the lake here and there's no one here. This is breathtaking. I am so grateful that I was able to go on this trip because it makes me wanna come back every single year.
We are currently now at dinner. We are enjoying dinner at Lakeview Lounge. I'll let you guys know when the food comes. We are starving. We're gonna be having prime rib, mussels, calamari. Apparently they have a special. It is BC Upper Tuna with soft shell crab. Super excited to try that one. I'll show you guys when the food comes. So we got the steamed mussels as well as the calamari. And the calamari is what I'm most excited to try. Apparently it's one of their more popular dish. So look how big these calamari pieces are. That looks so fresh. Wow. It's like seared, so it's not like heavy. It's super refreshing. That's really good calamari. I think that's actually one of the best calamaris I've ever had. So we got the soft shell crab, and this looks insane. Like, look at that. We got the albacore tuna. We got the boar beet balls, the chorizo boar meat balls with pasta. We then got this one is mine, which is the prime rib steak with onion rings on top. And then finally, we got my dad's, which is the salmon with some potatoes. The food looks super yummy. We're gonna dig in now. I am gonna enjoy my wine, eat our prime rib. I'll see you guys tomorrow at breakfast. Good morning, everyone. We are currently heading towards breakfast. Dinner yesterday was honestly amazing. I didn't get to do like a test test review because we were just so tired. But if you do go try out the Lake Lounge, I highly recommend trying out their soft shell and their calamari. Those two were my favorite as well as their bread. Their butter was insane. So you need to try those out. But anyways, we're gonna grab breakfast right now. So I'll show you guys what we got. Today is another beautiful day. We are gonna be going on the lake. We're gonna canoe around. My parents are going on a mini hike. If we have time, we're going to hike again. And then we're also going to grab dinner today at Vermont as well. So we got the chorizo cast iron skillet. That looks super yummy. Some fresh fruit. The peanuts looks unreal. What is that? And the brioche french toast. Brioche french toast. I got a side of the waffle and that peach waffle looks super yum. We got smoked salmon egg bennies there. And my dad just got the regular breakfast. But their potato looks unreal. I'm going to try the baked chorizo first. I think dipped in bread. We're done. I think this has been the best breakfast I've had all trip. This chorizo, big dish. It's savory, cheesy, tomatoey. Their waffles look super yummy. That's like a whole peach on top. The perfect bite. Mm. We're gonna enjoy breakfast right now. Go upstairs, get ready, head to the canoe. But this is gonna be a huge breakfast and I can't wait to dig in. We are now kayaking on Lake Louise. Hi, Krina! It is so pretty. We are like so close to the glacier. I'll show you guys really quick. It is really, really peaceful. Today is not that busy because I don't know if you can see in the camera but it's actually snowing right now. So it's cold, but there's still sun out. So it's a beautiful day to be on the boat. Over there is like the glacier, so it's super, super pretty. Over there is our hotel. The lake is huge, actually. They said to do like back and forth. It's around 30 minutes each way. We are back in our room now. That was freezing cold, really fun, but super cold. It was like snowing the whole time. I'm back in my room now enjoying some coffee. This is such a nice view from our room, honestly. If you stay at Fairmont, try to get the lakeside view ones because you get to wake up to this every single day. My parents are still hiking around, so me and Queen are just gonna walk around until dinner. We're having an early dinner around five o'clock at Fairview. It is snowing so much right now. I don't know if you guys can see. It is super, super cold, but it's kind of cool that we get to see Lake Louise when it's snowing too, because I think it's like really, really beautiful. Um, we're gonna head back to the hotel right now uh, because we both didn't bring anything. This is like my thickest thing I own, which is like the jean jacket. We're gonna head back to the hotel right now, maybe grab a drink before dinner. Are you cold, Queena? Yeah. We're freezing. I don't know where our parents are. I think they're still hiking in the snow right now. We are now here at dinner. We are checking out the Fairview Lounge today. I'll let you guys know if it's worth it. It is more of a bar slash dinner type of vibe. It is a lot smaller versus the venue yesterday. But I'll show you guys when the food comes. I think we're gonna be doing a few starters. We ate a lot for breakfast, so we're not worried too, too much. But I'll show you guys when the food comes. Like the butter from yesterday, guys, and the butter, I've been drinking about it all night. I can't believe after yesterday, all the good food, butter was my favorite. So if you come, try out their butter and bread. Dinner is now here. We got tons of food. We're doing a family stop today and sharing everything. We got some elk tatar. We got some duck wings, which looks super good. We got char. We got um, elk ribeye, 
we also have Wagyu beef there, asparagus, and then also risotto, which looks unreal. Okay, I can't wait to eat. The first thing I'm gonna try is for sure the duck wings. Mm. It's kind of sweet. Has like a nice glaze over it. Next we got the risotto. If there's risotto on the menu, there's not a chance that I'm not gonna give it a try. Mm. It has like a nice tart to it. I think it's tomato. It's really refreshing. Wow. But it's also creamy. And finally, we're gonna try the elk ribeye. Mm. Okay, that elk ribeye is so good. It's like super tender, really flavorful. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy dinner right now and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. We just finished dinner. We're not gonna walk around. It is snowing like crazy, so I wanna show you guys what the lake looks like. Dinner was super good. If you guys do come, I highly recommend trying out their elk ribeye. I also recommend checking out their elk tatar as well as the duck wings. Those were all super yummy. And of course, the bread and the butter is free at Fairview and it's super yummy. Anyways, tomorrow we're gonna hit the road, go back to Salmonar and then back to Vancouver. Tonight we're gonna stay another night here at Lake Louise. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys like this trip. Let me know if you give any of these recommendations a try i definitely want to do more travel vlogs once it is more safe to go fly as well we're going to hawaii soon but anyways i'll talk to you guys next time bye